Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can download, install and set up Jellyfin which is a free media server just like Flex and MB with the added benefit that it's free, open and open source which means that there are no hidden fees and you don't have to pay extra for premium services. And speaking of MB, this actually originated from MB. It, uh, before MB went closed source, this uh, was the last fork of it that has since adapted and has been rebuilt on a newer, better database as well as the, a better system and is more optimized. I've been using it for quite some time on my personal Linux server upstairs, uh, that this one, and it has been working pretty nicely. And uh, I can say the metadata organized on this is one of the best that I, I have ever known. So, what you want to do is head over to jellyfin.org. From there, you just need to download, click on download now. And go down to and select what, uh, the version for your operating system. So, I'm going to be using Windows because that is what most beginners are going to be using. And uh, personally, I have one uh, that is running upstairs uh, in my uh, server that is running Linux. And this is a win uh, virtual machine, so I don't have to be worried about anything. So we're just going to use the stable release. This will most probably take you to the repository. From there you can download uh, this one. We want uh, the exe that contains uh, both the installer, and which has both the server and the web components. We just want to download this. So actually I already do have this downloaded, so I don't need to, but uh, so uh, I already have it downloaded right here. So to run it, as always, double click. And give it administrative permission. Now you can get a window with the startup. And from there, you want to just click next. Then you will be uh, come upon the open source license that uh, you can agree with. If you want, you could read them, but it's I've read it multiple times and it, it's pretty good. There's no caveats. So for most people, I recommend the basic install because not only do you actually get to use network drives in this install, but it is also very easy to set up hardware encoding and transcoding on this. So just click on next, uh, choose the place you want to store the data and where to install it and confirm it. Now it will start installing. As you'll notice, you will see a lot of files with the name MB. And as I told you, this uh, was based on MB before the went closed source. Now, I do have an MB server running, but I found out that Jellyfin is way more optimized and it's better than MB. However, they don't have a main server, so it isn't like Plex where you will log in from anywhere and can remote access it. You have to set up remote access manually. For me, that's a good thing, and I have gotten rid of Flex and MB, only use them in like special scenarios, and I've based the whole of my main media setup onto Jeltfin. And uh, for me, it was actually pretty fun learning how to do these things. There'll be a full series on this, how to reverse proxy it, and do some custom branding and customization and everything. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Now, this has been now installed, and we can just click on close. From there, you want to go to your start menu and just open the tray app you only have to do it the first time because after this after every restart it will uh, after every uh, start after uh, when you start up a computer it will start automatically so as you can see we now have jellyfin here what you want to do is uh, you can open a browser and do this manually but you can just oh, click over here open jellyfin and what that does is basically that it opens up a web page so uh, that web page is so if you're on the machine that you're doing this it is localhost uh, 8096 if you don't if you're doing it on some other machine what you want to do is uh, go to cmd and type in ip config and from there you can see, uh, i'm using this i'm using ethernet right now so you can see your ip4 address so for this machine it's 192.168.18.2 so I'm just going to put that in uh, 
here so if i wanted to access if i was like accessing it from some other machine it would be 192.168.18.2 8096 is the default port for jellyfin so to set it up all you need to do is select your preferred language english and then you want to put in your username i'm going to be using tech uh we're going to just put in a quick password that is pretty easy i mean anybody who has some linux uh information will probably guess that this is the same password and you just want to click on next so what you want to do is now this is the part where you add up your files and uh, here's a bonus tip i'm using the 10.70 version which is the one that recently released the setup process will be same but uh, uh, if you get the option go with 10.7.1 that has additional bug fixes and it's pretty good so you want to select your media library type for now, I'm just going to be adding movies, and uh, I'm going to keep the name as movies. By the way, you might want to check out their movie naming guide. Uh, this uh, has how to name them. I actually have already have all of them named, so I don't have to like uh, worry about that. Then you want to choose the language you want to download it. I want English, uh, the country, I want English United States and make sure that all of these are correct um, and here's something I, I recommend just save it in NFL so it's easier to uh, edit and save the artworks into media folders that makes it really easy so just uh, you want to add the folder here so I'm actually going to be using my network for this one uh, movies okay so this is coming off of a NAS that I have upstairs and uh, that is the one that's uh, this that's where all of the movies are stored click on ok and there we go we have movies so if you wanted to add tv shows you can add tv shows by going here i personally like to name it tv shows so you can do that add a folder again why uh tv shows and um, so we have all of the tv shows here okay so mostly the tv shows and movies are just for kids because i don't like them going over to other sites so go to NFO and then save artwork into media for into media folders and here we are. Click on OK. From there, click on Next. Make sure that your metadata is uh, selected to the correct language and country. And if you're going to be like uh, uh, remote, uh, if you're going to be like having people access it from outside of your network, I recommend you keep this checked. There's no harm in it, uh, in it because you haven't exposed it to internet yet. But do not enable this this is basically universal plug and play that comes in a lot of routers that will automatically open ports for you but this is a very big security risk so do not check this we're gonna i'm gonna be showing you how to reverse proxy this so that you have a very smooth and stable configuration that is uh, very secure so uh, stay tuned for that then click on finish and you're automatically coming to the sign-in screen. You want to click on tech here and with the password that we chose. Now we're here on the home screen. Now because this is the first time, it might actually take some time. And as you can see, it's scanning the libraries. So there's nothing in them presumably right now because it has to scan them. You can see it just came in with the first movie. And uh, it's uh, trying to find all of them and working with them but i presume it's going to take some time because if you go into metadata here and open up my movies list as you can see i have a lot of movies in here the rest of them are uh, somewhere else in another nas because i like keeping the uh, directory separate so it's going to automatically start uh, because i already do have let me show you here i already do have uh, these labels so if you go into movies 1917 so as you can see i used to have flex on this thing so uh, let's delete that as you can see i have already named them accordingly movie name year then you already have the NFO file containing all of the metadata and then you have the SRT file, subtitles and then we have all of the, you know, 
fan art, uh, logo, poster, and everything that Jellybean needs. So presumably it shouldn't download, but I guess it downloads it anyway. So uh, there's nothing I can do to stop that. But yeah, so if I go to any movie here, I have all of them in place. Again. And as for TV shows, the same, I believe I have them the same. So as you can see, we've got the, uh, all of the files here and then they're labeled according to the season. And they're, all of the uh, posters and everything are already in them. So that is how you should have like uh, organized these. If you go into Gravity Falls, for example, season wise, and then these. So you can check out the official naming guide online. And uh, I think that's really helpful. So, uh, I'm just going to wait for uh, this to scan on my laptop. It has now been officially an hour. Let's see how our server is faring in that time. Uh, no, I do not want notifications. Um, there. So, as you can see, it has brought out a lot of my movies. Uh, these are not a lot of them, so uh, let me open up my other server, which uh, has the same type of, like, uh, what should I say, it has the same uh, movies in it, so, uh, here it is. So, the movies aren't ready now, and by the way guys, I didn't put up these posters. It automatically makes posters for you so give it approximately for like I don't remember when I was setting up this server actually um, how long did I keep it up for I think I kept it up for like uh, a whole two three um, I think I left it for a whole night like this by the way if uh, yours if after like a long time yours doesn't work just go into dashboard and from there head into libraries and the scan on libraries, or you can also do this from the dashboard, I believe, yes, scan on libraries, simple. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I am going to be showing uh, a new video, uh, I will be making a whole uh, playlist for this, which is going to be showing you all that you need to know, uh, to like, uh, custom branding, customization, uh, you know, like, uh, how to reverse proxy this and everything make it more secure uh, and make it faster as well as enabling hardware transcoding and how to use it on other devices but for this video this is enough i hope you enjoyed if you did and you learned something new please smash that subscribe button like this video and leave a comment if you have any problems just again leave a comment and i'll do my best to respond to them thanks for watching